Samantha and Stephen would like to thank all of you for joining them today and sharing this loving and joyous occasion. Samantha, my beautiful bride, I've been ambitioning this day my head for years now. And this day is just like you, because you always exceed my expectations. After our first few dates, you are so nervous and trying to play it cool. I was afraid you were not going to be affectionate at all. But like always to my surprise, you shower me with love every time you lay your eyes on me. You are always there for me, even when I don't know I needed you. And we have been each other's emergency contact since before we lived together. You are as a thrill to those enter of my life. You motivate me daily to strive better for myself and our lives together. There is little to say that you haven't already heard, but you are my best friend. You are my better half. I choose you every day. I choose you knowing there are still trails we must travel, knowing there are mountains left to climb. And I choose to promise you this. I promise to do everything in my power to give you what you give me. I promise to love you even when you don't clean the dishes. I promise to hold you when you are having a stressful day. I promise to take care of you like you always do when I'm sick in bed. I promise to be the husband that you deserve and more. I promise to love you with all my heart and more because your love has given me the sight and the drive that only a beautiful angel can give. I love you so much. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, grow with you, to support your dreams and respect our differences. I promise to stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I promise to be joy to your heart and food for your soul. I promise this even as time and life both change us. I promise you my all. I promise to always put you first even during football season and to never keep score even when I'm winning. Just remember when I say I do, I don't mean the dishes. I got you forever. Stephen and Samantha, your words about your relationship give us great reason to celebrate what you do here today. We thank you for the privilege of sharing this day with you. Trust you know how much we love you as you celebrate your love for one another. Samantha, receive and wear this ring always. Samantha, receive you this ring and always. As a sign of my love for you. As a sign of for my love for you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Stephen, receive and wear this ring always. Stephen, receive and wear this ring always. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love for you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4-7. through seven. now show us a sign of your affection for one another. Yeah.
Samantha and Stephen a word of advice from an old guy. Today's a great day. Later on, y'all are gonna, at one time or another, are gonna get mad at each other, or just one of you's mad, and the other one's okay. So, on those days that it's a little aggravating, just remember today, the day you got a cake, and I think everything will be okay. Stephen, thank you so much for giving our girl the ability to be herself, for seeing her for the way that we do, and most of all, for loving her like we do. When I first met you, I felt like I could finally rest easy knowing that my sister has found the person that will make every moment special. So everyone can raise their glass to the couple. Thank you, Sam and Steven, on behalf of everyone for sharing this moment with us. Here's to many more. Cheers. Then Steven, look around. This is your light to guide you, celebrate with you, and be your light in the dark. We hope you continue to dance in the kitchen, giggle at Steven's dad jokes, and forever wear the cargo shorts. Cheers to the bride and groom. I'm so glad you two have found each other to go through life's journeys with, and I wish you nothing but happiness. So now if you all could please join me in raising a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. DeMocker. When I met Steven for the first time, I was prepared with a lot of questions so that I could find out who he really was. I never asked a single question. From the moment I walked in, two things were obvious. This was someone who made Sam very happy and who really wanted to be the best partner to her that he could possibly be. And when I open up my eyes and see the sunrise, every day's a gift and it makes me feel so alive, so alive, so alive.